Hello everyone, I am Kunal and let's kick start your journey with Python. Python is open source and you have to just go to python.org to download Python. So here I am on www.python.org. In the download section, you can see download for Windows option and there are currently two versions available that is Python 3.6.4 and python 2.7.14 currently there are two stable versions available that is python 3.6.4 and python 2.7.14 all new features will be added to the version python 3.6 and python community has stopped development in the version python 2.7 so only bug fixes and the security updates will be added to the version python 2.7 but new features will be added to the Python 3.6. All you have to do is click on this link and it will give you this installer. For this video tutorials, we will be using Sublime Text. Sublime Text is an IDE and you can download it from www.sublimetext.com. When you open a website, you can go to the download page and you will get a web page something like this. Just click on this Windows 64 bit and it will give you one installer for Sublime Text. For today's session, I have already downloaded these setups. So let's install Python on your system too. Double click on the installer. You will see a setup window. Uh, before going ahead with the setup, one thing. Click on add python 3.6 to path, okay, don't miss out on this, okay, once you click here then you can click on install now, if you want to change the default path you can go to this customize installation option and you can install python on a different path, defaultly it will install it on your C drive, so I'm clicking on install now, it will take some time to install it. Once installation is finished, you will see setup for successful window and you can click on close. Now once python is installed, first step you have to check whether python is installed or not. Okay, so for that just open your command prompt and type python minus minus version and hit enter. It will show you the version which is currently installed on your system. If python and a version number is displayed which means python installation is successful otherwise you may get an error that python is not recognized as an internal or external command. So the reason for that will be you have installed the python but the path is not configured properly. So whenever you install any compiler or an interpreter, you have to tell your system where are you exactly installing your interpreter or a Python, okay? So for that, go to my computer, right click, click on properties, click on advanced system settings, then I'm clicking on environment variables and here double click on this path, okay? So you have to copy paste the path where you have installed the python here. Once you copy paste your path, click ok. Ok. And you can again check this, just close your command prompt once and then check if python is now working or not. Next thing, we will install sublime text. Installing sublime text is easy, just double click on the installer and follow the instruction just go and click next next and click on install after installing you will see this completing the sublime text tree setup visit click on finish and everything is set just open your sublime text now When you open sublime text, you will get a window something like this. At the bottom you can see defaultly this is a plain text and if you click here, 
It will show you which are all languages supported by Sublime Text. So you can use this Sublime Text for coding C, C++, Java, Python, R and many more. Create a new file. So click on file, new file. Okay, it will give you one untitled file. You have to save this. So click on save. For your python file, your extension will be .py. So while saving, make sure you save it with extension .py. So here I am saving my file with session1 underscore setup .py. Let's write a single line statement. I am writing print welcome to python. Now don't worry about syntaxes yet, we will cover this, we will now just check if your sublime text is working fine or not. In sublime text if you want to execute any program, you will say control plus s to save your program and control plus v to execute the program. So I'm pressing Ctrl S, then Ctrl D to execute. If everything is fine, it will show the output in the below window, which means Sublime Text and Python is working fine on your system. Stay tuned and from next video, we will see how we can write Python script in Sublime Text.